we have to get more systemic about how we approach positioning because this is the foundation of all the things. You need to look at what are the inputs that are actually gonna do it. Marketing teams don't make up positioning. Marketers uncover what it is based on a whole bunch of inputs and data. So for B2B SaaS, it might be things like your internal teams, your customers, the customers that you lost. Those are the people that you actually need to talk to. Website data, campaign data, market insights. There's all sorts of things you can look at to uncover what your positioning is and if it's actually where you want to be in the market. So, I'm gonna share a framework with you guys. I'm gonna go through this a little bit quick, but happy to dig into with you later. So number one, really explain what the thing is in the first place, and yes, that means, whoa, that's weird. That means no unicorns, rainbows, or ice cream. Number two, really be specific about who it's for. Everybody here knows that the entire world is not their target market, but most of us act like they are, so get really specific here. Understand what category you're focused on and whether or not this is a new or an existing category. We're gonna dig into this one a little bit. So when we talk about category, if you are looking at actually doing something or creating a new category, that is very different than actually disrupting an existing category. So when you do this, you really wanna focus on something called demand generation because it's more than likely that the people don't have an idea of what their problem actually is and they need to articulate it. So there's a huge layer of education that happens there. Really great example. Uh, how many of you are familiar with Eloqua? Marketing automation platform. This was uh, from the Wayback Machine 2012, I think. You gotta love the copy. It's not luck, it's Eloqua. Um, this was a pioneer in marketing automation at the time, right? It was not a thing that existed. Now, arguably, it's table stakes. There are almost too many marketing automation tools. This was a category creator. Dropbox is another one, helped define a category, right? Your approach to these types of things and how you actually message this is gonna be fundamentally different than if you are in an established industry. If you're in an established industry, now it's about proving that you're better, right? They already get why the thing exists. You need to tell them why you're actually better. Warby Parker does a great job. Warby Parker met a huge amount of resistance initially because, hey, there's sunglasses everywhere. There's a market for it. There's a system. People buy it. Well, why are you going to be better? You know what? They're better because they went direct to consumer and the experience is better and the model was different and they were able to do things that the incumbents weren't. How are you different? Be honest about that. Red flags to watch out for if you're claiming to be the only, the best, or the number one. You better be able to back that up. Why should I care? This is basic stuff, values, benefits, and of course, alternatives. Remember guys, when you're looking at positioning, it's all about context, right? Positioning is about the surrounding context of your product. Who your competitors are sends a signal to people in the market about where you are positioned in the market.